What's up YouTube, welcome back. Another fun freestyle kayak tutorial coming at you this week and something I hope that'll be fun and informative. This week a drill I like to call the single pump or the no pump. It's basically getting your boat into that vertical position using mostly your core power and your edge control uh, and instead of deploying speed and power like we do with the with the double pump. Why is this a useful skill? It's actually a really good precursor skill to learn your uh, McNasty, which is uh, in a hole going from that back surf position to a front flip. Um, it's a really good way to help you get into that back surf every time and kind of get your hips uh, and, and body feeling what the, that motion of getting into a back blast should feel like, because it is kind of different to getting into a back surf. Um, it's also just another really fun boat control exercise. It's really, really good for you. Uh, and the more we can get that good boat control, good edge control, good balance, the easier a lot of other freestyle stuff is. So I do think it's a fun one. It's a fun one to do when you're killing some time on some flat water. Uh, and it's just, it's just good practice. So getting set up for the single pump slash no pump. It doesn't, I don't really have a good name for this one. Um, I didn't think of it, but I don't know exactly who did or where it came from. It was just one of those ones someone suggested to me one time. Um, that I've kind of taken on to doing quite a lot more often. If you know the history of this uh, drill, please let me know, comments below. Um, we're gonna get ourselves set up by lining our paddle up alongside our boat in parallel, just in the same position we would do for the second half of our double pump maneuver. With our paddle flat to the water, leading our boat with our head and shoulders. So I'm really trying to square my shoulders to my paddle that's, that's in the water. Once I'm squared up, I can use my leg power a little bit and get a small lift up on my legs, pulling in on my ab muscles, and then dropping a bit more edge again, pushing down super, super hard, uh, and pushing my feet underneath me. And that's gonna get me back to that vertical upright position. Uh, back to that bow stall position, I should say. Pretty much the only difference when you're doing this to doing a double pump is you don't have that like carry momentum of the lift up. So you have to have quite a bit of, be generating quite a bit of core power uh, to push your boat back to vertical. But as long as your shoulders are square to your paddle and your head's kind of looking central or even looking slightly at that back blade that's gonna do the pushing in the water, um, it's actually quite easy to get your boat into that position if you already have a pretty strong double pump which is a double pump based on good technique, not just on being really strong or being really big for your boat. This is a good, a good kind of litmus test to see how good your double pump is, because if you are really strong or you're really big for your boat and you can just, just kind of muscle it around everywhere, this is a, a drill that actually needs a lot of technique versus just being bigger and stronger. So it's an interesting one. It's interesting to see if you'll be able to do it or not, if it's easy, if it's hard, but it's a really just a fun, a fun way to work on your edge control a bit and a really good setup for your future for those McNasties kind of down the line when you want to learn that trick. So yeah, highly encourage you to give this one a shot. Let me know in the comments if you found it easy, if you found it hard, if it was easier than you thought it was going to be, if you found it harder than you thought, thought it was going to be. And yeah, um, I'm hyped to talk to you about it. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Really appreciate you. I will see you next week. Peace.